Hello everybody. Uh how are you? Is PCCS in here? I didn't really know you were coming over here. Uh well anyway, right now I'm simply uh just installing some Apple updates. So so you got some a new Safari and uh new iTunes. Uh next. Except. Whoa. Did you see that? The window just resized itself. Gee, I wish my program could do that. Hmm. Or can they? Actually, they can. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to do that effect you just saw. If you own an iPod or uh, if you have any Apple software installed on your PC or even your Mac, I don't know, but you probably not watch it if you have a Mac, uh, you know that it has that weird sliding effect, and you're probably wondering how that works. Well, today I'm actually going to show you how you can program that into your programs. So let's go ahead and open up Visual Basic here, and um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial here. So let me wait for this to open. All right, now that this is open, let's go ahead and click New. And we're gonna go and click here and uh okay. Um I'm just gonna show you. This does not hurt your program's uh, stability by the way. It's just, yeah. Anyway, here's how we do it. Uh so Alright, there you go, that worked. So what we're gonna do here is uh I'm gonna put a little button right here. Alright, I'm gonna put a button right here. Bang. I'm gonna actually give this button its uh, very own panel. I'm gonna put the button inside of this panel. Alright. Whoops. Hey. And let's go ahead and move the panel up a bit and then put the button inside. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is gonna a little lower down, create another panel. We'll put it right here, I suppose. And um what we'll do is we'll put a text box in here. And then we'll put a button here. Alright, just like so. Slide it up and put it right there. Make this a little smaller. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the anchors. So you're going to click on the uh, bottom panel here and you're going to come over to the uh, properties here and you're going to scroll down until you see anchor. And let's just anchor it to the uh, the bottom here. And also for an even greater effect, I'm going to set the uh, form border style. So now we're in uh, form one's properties. Go up to appearance, border style. Set it to fixed tool window. And now when I debug it, I cannot resize this with my mouse. No little arrows come up. All right, now what we're gonna do is uh, well, well, let's go ahead and actually um. We click this panel here. We're going to right click the panel. And we're going to move send to back. Or we can move, whatever you want to do. Then just pull it back behind and hide it. There you go. So, what this button here is going to do is it's going to cause this uh, to slide down. So, what we first want to do is this take a look at the current form size. So, click on form one and look down here at the size remember that size write it down on a piece of paper whatever you want to do um, I suppose that I'm just gonna have to remember it this is 298 uh, the width is on the left side and then the height is on the right side so, so you want to remember that just remember the height because we're only gonna make it you know stretch like this and then pull this out a little bit right about there 
and now remember this, this is now two, 111. So let's go ahead and double click the, uh, let's go ahead and double click this button right here, and we're going to code it. We're going to give it a code to make it slide out. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. Laggy computer. Alright, here's what you're gonna type. Here again, you're gonna wanna remember that um the code you just uh memorized. Or the uh size, so let's go ahead and type this in. Do whoops yeah. Do until me dot height is greater than the one hundred and eleven what which is the uh, height that it current that you want it to grow to, so that's why I need to remember that. Um, do until me height hike equals 111. Then hit whoops, then hit enter, and then type me dot height equals me dot height plus. We'll do. Uh, We'll do a three. The bigger this number is, the um, the faster it'll go. All right. And then you're gonna hit down here where it says loop. Hit enter once. And then you're gonna type in if me dot height is greater than 111, then Enter. Uh, do until me dot height is uh, less than. Hit enter, and they're gonna do me dot height equals me dot height um, minus one. I recommend you put a one there. There you go. That's a little fast. So let's go ahead and set the uh, speed down to two and see if it's a little bit slower. Sorry about the clicking. It's a habit I have to break. Stop spazzing out your computer and let me see it. There we go. That's a pretty nice transition. All right. Now to get it back to smaller, let's go ahead and pull it back out to approximately 111. Let's double click the second button and um, type in do until me dot height uh, is less than 77, which is the original height. So yours might not be 77. All right, and then we're going to type in. Um, me dot height equals me dot height minus two. I kind of recommend you use the same speed that you did before. Then you're going to click beside loop, enter. If me dot height is less than 77, then enter. Do until me dot height is greater than 77 um me dot height equals me dot height plus one you're going to come down here to if me dot height is less than uh, 77 change this to an equal sign so that way it'll end up equaling the height we want it to get to then we're going to close going to hit play or debug play what the heck all right let's see how this works stop spazzing out computer let me see my program whoops we forgot to shrink it back down to size so let's go and put this back to 77 like so try this again don't freak out again, computer. I don't want you to freak out. Load my program. Come on. Take it along. Thank you. Button one. Button two. Wait, 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 wait. Now, if you have a good graphics card, um, 
you'll really get to uh, appreciate the uh, the niceness of the niceness, the prettifulness of the I can't speak prettiness of the effect. I'm gonna go and set all of these just to one, so that way you guys will be able to see that it indeed is sliding. See that? Isn't that cool? So guys, that is how you achieve that Apple software update type thing. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below in a comment below. Or send them over to pizzasciencefunnyyahoo.com. Uh, also be sure to check out my blog. Link is in the description to your right. Uh, as well as uh, follow me on Twitter, which is also in the description. So thanks again for watching guys.